students today we are going to see the two voices that is active voice and passive voice every sentence has a subject who is the doer and a verb and the object so in active voice we will be seeing subject plus verb plus object and then what happens in passive voice the same action is being done vice versa that is object will come first then verb and then the subject okay now we'll just see the presentation to get your idea clear all right now you can see as this image shows us in active voice we are concentrating on what subject does whereas in passive voice we are concentrating on action you can see the example who's the subject in ram killed ravan ram okay so we are concentrating on ram but what are we doing here we are saying killed is more important ravan was killed by ram remember one thing in passive voice we have auxiliary verb plus by always remember that when we have auxiliary verb before the verb then it is passive voice now what is auxiliary verb it is is was are am were okay all these are known as auxiliary verbs which helps the regular verb okay so you can see in passive voice we are having was plus by always remember these two important things in passive voice so this was about active voice and passive voice now we will see how tense tenses change okay we have simple present simple past simple future present perfect present continuous past perfect past continuous in future we just have two tenses simple future and future continuous okay we'll just see it later i'll just show you an image so that your concepts will be clear okay now we'll see how these voices change with different tenses first tense as you can see it's present simple i read an interesting novel like it's present okay now i is the subject read is the verb and novel interesting novel is the object now interesting novel will come at the start in passive voice an interesting novel is read now they have not given by me but you can always add it by me okay sometimes they don't include the agent when usually the words are like they or somebody because then it is not important now we'll move on to the next one present continuous always remember when ing comes then being is always added in passive voice i am reading an interesting novel an interesting novel is being read by me you can include by and me i read an interesting novel last night this is simple past an interesting novel was read by me last night past continuous i was reading an interesting novel again remember ing means being will be added since it's past it will be an interesting novel was being read by me i have when words like perfect is there remember in passive we'll have b double e n been i have read an interesting novel an interesting novel has been read by me next i will read an interesting novel this is future simple okay simple future an interesting novel will be read by me i am going to read an interesting novel this is future continuous an interesting novel is going to be read by me okay so 
all these are passive voices remember one more thing in passive voice we'll have v3 that is past participle of verb since red doesn't have any more changes in verb form but others will be having like speak will become spoken okay give will become given all right so in passive voice always remember the verb will change to v3 that is past participle of verb hope the concept is clear read these examples again and again listen to the rules like ing becomes been perfect will have added been there okay and verb form will change to the past participle remember these rules and then the concept will be clear all right so i'll end my video here now